Given all the remarkable places architect Greg Truen has designed houses, it says a lot for this beautiful stretch of Atlantic coast that he chose to build a family escape here for himself, his wife Liz Morris and their daughter Luca. Wow. I'm lost for words. It's quite something, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's such a dynamic space. It, it has everything. Yeah, and we love the way it kind of floats over the bay here with this amazing view across to the mountains. We kind of designed it as a single space and we set it up with, you know, the different living zones. And one of the really key things on the west coast where there's a problem with wind is to have this wind-free courtyard and it's got the pool in it so we can use it on windy days. The thatched roof is supported on a perimeter I-beam, allowing a light open feel without letting in the southeaster. We were very worried about the wind and or very aware of the wind, so we decided that it was important for us to have a courtyard space that had its back to the wind. And the way we use the space is when the wind's blowing, we close up the back side of the house and we open up the courtyard to the pool and we can all live out of the kitchen into this space and it's fantastic. And being an architect yourself, how difficult or easy was it designing your own home? <laughs> it was an interesting experience. It's difficult because you perhaps overanalyze things, but it was a lot of fun as well. You know, it was nice to play with ideas that we could stretch things a little bit and, and, and see what happened. If I look at the space from the inside, it's still very contemporary, new, mixing old and new. If you look at the house from the outside, it's still got that typical West Coast feel to it. We love the West Coast and uh, we wanted it to reflect the West Coast. So it's got white walls and it's got the thatched roof, but it's got a very, as you say, quite a contemporary take on the West Coast once you get in here. It's such a special site, we didn't want uh, the building or what we did inside it to kind of get in the way of the connection with the bay and this view. So the idea really was just to create a platform like this, put a hat on it and then have this fantastic view. So that kind of informed the direction we took. And we also wanted to hide the neighbours a little bit so you don't have a sense that, that you've got buildings around you. There are no inner walls, so Mark Riley's vision ensures that whilst the outdoor living, cooking, dining and relaxing can all happen at the same time, each space is well defined. This kitchen area speaks for itself. It almost feels like the heart of the home. Well, in this case, I think it really is. I think Greg and Liz had a very specific way in terms of how they wanted to enjoy the space. I I love the way that they've opened the space up and how it links to all the other areas of the house. We had a lot of fun conceptualizing the interior. We have this beautiful timber table that James Mudge made for us. And then we've kind of mixed that up using these different sort of sized stools. And then to contrast with the, with the rough timber, we've then played with these beautiful uh, metal wire chandeliers which we had custom made for us. But because of the connection to the courtyard and the pool, it actually tends to be the space that we inhabit the most. You can talk to people, you can sit here and still have a connection with people in the living room. We love it, it really is the heart of the house. I'm a great admirer of metalwork. I have to ask you, is it the same artist that, that made these as well as the artwork at the entrance hall and that incredible fireplace? Yeah, a guy called Peter Forbes made them for us and I love them. You know, they're all so different. That one's cut out of flat plate, this one's been rolled and that flue is just fantastic. The West Coast's often sunny winter days. The heated floors and the fireplace make this a year-round getaway. This is such a creative feature. Uh, I love the colour and the texture. And also the chimney part has been completely corroded so it's got a completely different texture. Yeah, well it's made of uh, Corten steel which is designed to corrode a little bit and then it's self-sealed. So the top's outside and it's corroded a bit more and the colour is colors very different. It's the most fantastic piece. It's one of the key features of the house. Mark, there must have been a lot of pressure on you. With Liz being the editor of Condé Nast, you had to get this place spot on. Well, look, I think Liz is very sort of design savvy and also dealing with Greg being the architect of the house. Uh, we did have this challenge where we do know the, the owners personally, but their contribution was invaluable. I think it's helped us to create this sort of eclectic interior. We've come in and we've kind of given it this sort of schlumpy, beachy, relaxed feel, and that's exactly what they were looking for. I think that the room is also very big and I think the, the Kern fireplace has a lot of gravitas in the space. So when we were conceptualizing and playing with the furniture, we had to sort of upscale and oversize things. So we have very, very big, deep, comfortable sofas. These were sort of nestled and cocooned with cushions. And we wanted to steer away from that whole sort of nautical beach theme. Um, and we've played around with um, bringing in some eclectic elements. We have beautiful leathers that almost have the same feeling and texture as kelp. And then the only sort of nautical um, element we have brought in are these beautiful blue timber sticks. 
If Liz and Greg's 11-year-old daughter is anything as creative and social as her parents, then this area is custom designed for a soon-to-be teenager who will need to express herself. What I really like about the den space for the children is, is that it's been tucked in underneath the house. I mean, I love the way the architects have left the concrete exposed, which just contrasts with the, the thatch roof that we got in the upper level. I think here we've played with, with the beautiful colours. We've used the slate um, linen. And we've also then brought in these beautiful woven baskets with, with colours, so they, they function as extra seating for the children. But let me go show you what we've done in the master bedroom. Greg and Liz travel extensively, so entering their retreat has to feel like walking into a set of warm, welcoming, open arms. I love what Greg did with all the rooms on this level and the way he sort of faceted the glass and you can see he's put the, the three bedrooms in line here and they're all sort of directed towards that beautiful sea view. I think this we've also then just framed with these beautiful four poster beds in all of the rooms in fact. What's also really lovely here is we've created this recess in the concrete ceiling which has got a curved shape and the idea there is at night time you can sort of draw that curtain closed and it gives you this beautiful sort of caving cocooning for the bedroom. And you've also used the same bed throughout? Yes we have. I think we wanted the continuity of, of how you experience the interiors from outside but each room is then personalized with different bedding and, and accents. A real treat in the, the master bathroom is the little slot window into the swimming pool so when you're showering there you can actually have a look at your visitors having a swim. <laughs> That's excellent, well thought. <laughs> then there are the creatures that swim into the bay. Heavy side dolphins call this home. Southern right whales spend the spring here, and this walkway takes you right to them. Greg, this is the view that must have sold it to you. Yeah, it was uh, completely unexpected as well. We didn't quite believe the, the images that we'd seen in the ad. We also didn't know it existed. <laughs> I've explored the West Coast countless times. I've never seen the spot. It's simply magical. Well, it's so unusual, you know, it's, uh, it's on a little peninsula and it looks east, so the sun rises over the sea. It's pristine, which I love. Every morning we get thousands of birds that fly up the coast. It really is magical. In wintertime it must be very special here. Yeah, winter's lovely. It's very quiet and on some days after there's been snow on the mountains, you can sit here and look across the bay and, and see these snow-covered mountains. I have to say, I would never take you for a fisherman though. <laughs> you know, there was a storm and that little boat washed up on the beach yet. so we pulled it up here and we put some plants in it. It's perfect. It's picture perfect. Picture perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of picture perfect, I believe it was a picture that led you here in the first place. Yeah, we'd been looking for a property and I'd seen a, a property advertised with this absolutely fantastic view, which I didn't believe. I was very skeptical. So anyway, we arrived here and there it is. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. There's also a plot for sale next door to you? Yes. Can, can I buy that? Absolutely. Okay, I'll build something equally beautiful. You can design it. Correct. <laughs> and what sets this part of Stompness by, apart from so many holiday towns, is that the architecture is as lovely to look at as the surrounds.